first of all, Dot Amazon was rejected after some protests from, from Latin American countries because of the Amazon in Latin America. What do you make of this rejection? Is, is it a big blow to Amazon? Uh, well, it, it is interesting, uh, and it, I think it came uh, as a little bit of a surprise uh, because the U.S. government, uh, prior to the meeting where this occurred, uh, announced that they were going to stay neutral, and I think that cleared the path for these other governments to raise their objection. Uh, it, it's not final, though, as I understand it. I mean, how do you expect this to play out? Correct. Uh, ultimately, the ICANN Board of Directors will make the decision on these individual applications. However, the structure of this program is that the recommendations of governments are uh, typically uh, going to be followed. Uh, so I think it would be a long shot if the Board of Directors went against this recommendation, uh, and it would probably create a, an entirely new controversy. So um, I think that the odds are that they will go along with this, and uh, they will block that uh, application. Now there are a lot of other domain names that are up for grabs. Dot book, dot search, dot buy. Companies like Apple, Google, and Amazon are all vying for some very common names. What are the issues that I can weighs when it, it decides, A, whether they're going to approve a name first, and then who to give it to? Well, there are a number of factors. First, uh, each applicant has to demonstrate that they have the technical and financial acumen to operate a, a domain name registry uh, first. And then once that evaluation is cleared, then other um, uh, checks come into play. For example, if anyone is claiming that they are representing a brand or representing a community uh, or representing a geographic name, uh, that they have the sponsorship of, uh, of those organizations behind them. Um, once all of those things are, are uh, through, then the, um, uh, then the process moves on to the board of directors where they can approve that for contracting, and then it moves into a, a testing and launch phase. So what do you see happening to a domain name like .book, which Amazon has applied for, but publishers have complained about? Um, I think that uh, that one is still uh, ongoing. There are still discussions going on between uh, the ICANN Board of Directors and the governments uh, that have raised this. I believe they're calling it a an exclusive access or Category 2 uh, registry. Um, and we were expecting some additional announcements on that in, uh, at this last meeting in South Africa, but it seems like everything kind of got hung up on the dot Amazon issue. So um, we expect further announcements on that in the coming uh, weeks. And it's important to note that it's not just Amazon that's applying for some of these strings. Uh, other companies are also applying, and uh, they have different ideas of how this would be, uh, how a, a string like dot book would be uh, operated and uh, they could ultimately uh, end up in an auction with uh, all the contending applicants. Well, exactly. 13 different companies have applied for .app. I mean, a lot of companies out there could use that domain. Um, you know, when you have so much competition, what happens? Does nobody get it in the end? Well, eventually someone will get it, I think. Uh, it's just a question of who and when, and then those are the, uh, those are the issues, I think, on the table. Um, they all have different uh, ideas on, um, on how these uh, domain name registries will be operated and who can register these extensions and uh, what audiences or markets they will serve. Um, but at GoDaddy, we're excited. We want to carry them all, and we want to give uh, the widest possible variety to our customers to get their businesses online. You know, that was my next question, is how, how does GoDaddy want this? to play out? Uh, well, we want, uh, we want to see as many of these uh, 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 top-level domains entering the uh, market as soon as possible so that we can start to offer them for our customers. We work very closely with ICANN and with the registries to uh, make sure that we're marketing them to, uh, uh, to uh, folks who maybe uh, uh, need these uh, uh, top-level domains but maybe aren't aware that they're coming out or e aren't even aware of this program uh, in, its, uh, in its launch. Um, that, and that's what we're looking forward to in the next uh, few months. Are there any no-brainers in terms of domain names and, and what are they? Uh, you mean in terms of these top-level domains? In terms there of are what few I that can, are just... Right. In terms yeah, of what so I can approve, I mean, are there any no-brainers out there? Yes, there are a few that are uncontested. I believe there is one, an Arabic string, .shabaka, that's going to be launching soon. Uh, and, uh, you know, if, if there's no contest, uh, no contending applications, there's uh, no objections and no concerns from governments, then these things can proceed into the contracting and launch phase.